Welcome to the AVG tutorial about how to deploy AVG Remote Administration 9.0. Double click the AVG Remote Administration installation package to start the installation process. The installation files are extracted into a temporary folder. Please wait until this process is finished, it may take a while. The AVG Remote Administration Setup is a series of dialog boxes that guide you through the whole installation process. In the first dialog box, there is an option to specify the language you wish to use for setup. Please select your preferred language and continue by clicking the next button. It is recommended that you read the license agreement in its entirety. If you understand and accept the license agreement, check the I have read license agreement box and click the accept button. If you click the don't accept button, the installation process will be terminated. The installation wizard then checks the system status. On the next screen, you can select the installation type. There are options for Custom and Light Installation. If you select the custom installation you will be able to customize certain parameters during the installation process. The light installation is suitable just for small networks where you do not need so much control about installed stations. In our tutorial we will demonstrate the full installation option. Now, the activation window is displayed. In this window valid license number is required. It is recommended to copy and paste your license number to avoid typing errors. We have already copied our license number to the clipboard, so now we will just paste it into the appropriate field. After the license number is inserted, continue by clicking the next button. In next step, you have to specify the destination folder. Usually it is not needed to change anything in this step. Confirm creation of this folder. Check the setup summary and if everything is correct click the finish button. Installation is now in progress. Please wait until this process is finished, it may take a while. You may notice that a new AVG9 icon appear on the desktop during the installation process. Installation is now completed. However at this point remote administration is not working. To make it functional it has to be configured. Configuration of AVG remote administration is created during the admin server deployment wizard. In this step the current state of AVG admin server is indicated. As you can see, both available roles of admin server are now disabled. This is because they are not configured. So, let's change it. As a first step you have to select what database system will be used as a data storage for admin server. You can select from 5 available database systems that differs mainly in number of connections they are able to serve. We will select the Firebird database as it is embedded in the installation package of AVG Remote Administration. Another advantage is that it is for free. So no need to install any additional files and spend any extra money. In this step you can import data into the newly created database. But because this is our first installation and we do not have any previously created export, we will skip the step. If you want, you can also protect the access to the admin server with the username and password. In our example we will let these fields empty. Here in this window you have to specify where downloaded update files will be stored. These update files will be then used for updating the stations connected to the AVG remote administration. We will let the default value. Here in this step it is possible to specify what will be the sources of update for AVG admin server. No need to change anything here. This step allows you to change what will be the update sources for stations connected to remote administration. 
Again, in most cases no need to change anything here. Here you can review the configuration. And if everything is correct, click the deploy button to start the deployment process. Deployment has finished. Click the finish button to start the AVG admin server. The icon in system tray now indicates that AVG admin server is running. If you double click this icon in system tray, you will get window with overview about admin server status. Here is the overview. You can see some information about what happened in admin server. Now if we will try to open AVG Admin Console, what is the user interface for AVG Remote Administration, we are asked to specify the address to what admin server we want to connect. If the admin server is installed and running on the same computer, the connection string is already pre-filled. Otherwise you need to enter name or IP address of the computer with admin server followed by port. 4158 by default. And here is the AVG Admin Console interface. So, at this point AVG Remote Administration is installed, configured, and running. It is prepared for stations being connected into it. You can visit our web pages, download installation files, documentation, check our FAQs, or contact our 24-7 technical support anytime. Thank you for your attention.